Hi guys, uh, welcome to another trade of MySQL database administration. Uh, today uh, we, uh, we will be talking about another uh, high availability solution that is uh, provided from MySQL. It's MySQL InnoDB cluster. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be talking about uh, InnoDB uh, cluster uh, introduction that uh, what is the architecture and how uh, what are the components combined together creates. Uh, uh, MySQL in ODB cluster. Uh, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and please like this video and share with other friends. Uh, before we have uh, uh, discussed uh, another uh, HS solution which is called in ODB replica set. If you haven't watched that, please go back and uh, uh, watch our in uh, ODB replica set tutorial as well. So uh, let's start with this tutorial, and this is how our uh, this is overview of MySQL architecture. Uh, we have is what have we have is MySQL shell uh, as an admin cluster and MySQL router for load balancing. And this is where uh, the MySQL server resides and and uh, it's called uh, uh, HA cluster. And internally they have is a group replication. So MySQL uh, uh, in cluster based on group replication. It's not an asynchronous replication, uh, just like a replica set. A replica set have in uh, asynchronous replication, and this one have is group replication, uh, which uh, this is why it provides us uh, failure uh, like auto fail uh, auto automatic failures. So this part is called uh, this area is called. Uh, MySQL server is HA cluster and uh, uh, this is where th everything is happening uh, it's built in on MySQL group replication and provides uh, feature as automatic member management fault tolerance automatic failure and so on and in ODB cluster usually run in single primary mode uh, but uh, uh, with one primary read write and multiple secondary instance slides this is a primary instance which will be used for read write and these two are secondary instances uh, you can have uh, other more, more secondary instances as well for read uh, and um, re read and write so read only and we have read write for primary instance but you can also have a uh, multiple primary instances as well uh, like uh, but it's better to have only one primary for read write and the other two for read only purposes and then the next uh, next part we have uh, is mysql shell uh, it's used for cluster administration uh, it's an advanced client uh, and co leader for mysql it is can be used uh, because it provide uh, mul multiple modes like uh, javascript and uh, uh, python and uh, sql mode as well so this can be used for your any uh, kind of uh, DevOps scripting and some other automation if you want to do. Uh, you work with InnoDB cluster using this admin API, MySQL uh, shell provide admin API uh, and it is provided as a part of MySQL shell. So what admin is admin API is provided in JavaScript and Python uh, and is well su suited for scripting and automation of development of MySQL to achieve high ability and scalability. By using uh, MySQL shell admin API, uh, you can avoid the need of to configure many instances manually. So before, uh, when you were you supposed to create any MySQL group application or any uh, MySQL in cluster, what you have to do is that uh, before uh, adding the instance, you have to uh, transfer all the data to that uh, instance and then uh, you ha you can add uh, this instance to MySQL cluster but with MySQL admin API which is come with MySQL shell it provides a clone plugin and the clone plugin what, what you what you will need to do is that you call an object add instance and it will clone uh, your uh, current uh, source server to the target servers and that's it it will do everything automatically uh, and the speed depend on how much data you have but it's a physical replica it creates a physical replica but which is very fast and consistent replica so this is this was about the mysql shell and then we have a mysql router uh, it's a lightweight middleware uh, that provides transparent routing between your replication application and the backend mysql server actually it's a load balancer so it can be used for a wide variety of use cases such as providing high availability and scalability by effectively routing database uh, traffic to appropriate backend mysql server so that's uh, so, so this MySQL server, uh, MySQL shell, and then MySQL, all the servers uh, combined together. Uh, sorry, the last one is MySQL router, and all 
combined together in this picture uh, MySQL shell, MySQL router and my primary instance as well. You can uh, uh, you can do any other MySQL connectors like if you want to connect from MySQL Yog or MySQL Workbench uh, so any other application client can connect to this uh, MySQL router or MySQL shell can be also used for any if you are coming from the host as well and MySQL shell use the MySQL uh, X protocol admin API to connect with your uh, MySQL cluster so this is all uh, about MySQL introduction and uh, now uh, next we will be uh, developing will be configuring or installing our uh, MySQL uh, cluster in practical so keep on with me and let's see how is it done